let's go over the neurological system or the nervous system and let's go over the certain medications that we use to treat certain diseases let's first talk about anticonvulsants now anticonvulsant drugs are used to control seizures or in people who have epilepsy now we also know that some anticonvulsants can also be prescribed to those with um, bipolar disorder which is a, a manic depression as, uh, as mood stabilizers. Now these medications help to alleviate basically the highs and the lows of the mood associated with, this, with these disorders. Now these anticonvulsant slash bipolar NCLEX drugs would include Depakote, Keppra, and Tegretol. Okay? Now let's go back to anticonvulsants as used for seizures. Now anticonvulsant medications help decrease the firing and inhibits the spread of the nerve impulses, which results in stabilization of the normal of the abnormal cells. Okay. Now the four main types of anticonvulsant medications to know for the ang now these are not specific individual drugs, but instead these are the types of groups, and it includes hydantoins, barbiturates, benzodiazepines, and succinamides. Now let's first talk about hydantoins now obviously these are used to treat seizures now the major NCLEX medication that is in the group of hydantoins is phenytoin or dilantin now dilantin is used to control certain types of seizures and it's also used to treat and prevent seizures that may begin during or after surgery to the brain now what information we need to know for the NCLEX with phenytoin and or dilantin is that when giving a patient dilantin it is very important for us to um, to tell and educate the patient that dilantin can decrease the effects of birth control pills okay so like I, like I mentioned therefore we need to educate our patients it is also very important for us to know for the NCLEX the, the therapeutic levels of dilantin which is about between 10 to 20 micrograms per milliliter now the side effects um, of dilantin can include gingival hyperplasia which is gums that would bleed easily right the patient can also have slurred slurred speech confusion depression um, nausea and vomiting and constipation now let's proceed and talk to see more videos like this or check out other NCLEX resources that can help you review for your NCLEX exam please visit allnursingnotes.com that's allnursingnotes.com or just click the link below